Shannon Sharp was a guest on the Stephen A. Smith show. Highly anticipated episode because uh, when Stephen A. was a guest on Club Shay Shay, it was Shannon Sharp interview- interviewing Stephen A. Smith. So now that Shannon Sharp was the guest on Stephen A. Smith's show, it was the, the reverse. So Stephen A. was the one to interview Shannon Sharp. So I knew that what was the burning topic in Shannon's life, the Skip Bayless breakup. So I felt like this was the time Shannon Sharp would go out there and open up. And he was so honest, man, I didn't expect this. So we might have to do several videos about this, but the first one will be this one, man. Because Shannon Sharp pretty much admitted that he almost put his hands on Skip Bayless over Tom Brady. So take a listen to what Shannon Sharp had to say. And before I play the clip, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Oh, yeah. It took everything. Because I had to make a split-second decision. In that moment, Stephen, I had to make a split-second decision. And the decision I made was to have a, a further long-term career. Because I knew at that moment in time, it was only a matter of time. They were going to have to separate us. I knew that. I knew that. Um, I was willing to, to, to play out the contract, but I knew it, it, it was going to end because he had, it, it started to come with greater, greater regularity, the disrespect. You can, say what you, you can say I'm loud. You can say I'm obnoxious. You can say I'm arrogant. But to try to poo-poo my career, a seventh rounder that, made, that started out on special teams and played so well that I got into the Hall of Fame, to try to minimize that was, was very disheartening for me. And I didn't think, look, someone that I don't know discredited in my career, I'm cool with that. I can live with that. But someone that I considered a friend, or maybe, or we were friendly, but I consider Skip a friend, for you to take that kind of personal shot at me, it really hurt me, Stephen. It, it really did. You said in the split moment you had to make a decision. What I had to make a decision. I'm saying the split. I'm saying to crystallize in that moment, the split decision was what, what, what you did, what you did, or what were you thinking about doing? What I didn't do. What did? What are you talking about? What you didn't do? What do you mean by that? Stephen A. Man, look here. It took a lot. It, it took a lot for me not to not to put my hands on it it actually did i'm so thankful you didn't do that so y'all heard what the man had to say uh first of all shout out to shannon sharp for being that vulnerable about that breakup quote unquote um on tv i didn't expect him to be that honest i, I expected him to go out there and kind of beat around the bush and he didn't didn't help any punches no pun intended so my first thought when I saw that Shannon Sharp actually admitted this and it was like, yeah, um, a lot of a lot of times when people get disrespected in hindsight, you know, to save face, they'll be like, oh, yeah, man, if I could, I would have done this, done that. No, I felt like this was real. If you remember that exchange, the way Shannon Sharp sounded, how hurt he sounded, how shocked he sounded. And when he took his glasses off, man, it it could have went down, especially with Skip Bayless. That's so crazy to me when he was like, put your fucking glasses back on. That's pretty much what he said, minus the, the fucking. But you, you can hear the F that, that kind of came out of his mouth and he held it in at the last second because he can't curse on TV. That was so disrespectful to me. I was like, oh, my God, this is crazy. But that being said, I also applaud and commend Shannon Sharp for not actually putting his in on Skip Bayless. Because it's a lot of people that I've seen reacted to this and were just sounding very ignorant, in my opinion, saying that if it was them on TV, they would have got up there and whooped on Skip Bayless. And I'm like, stop it, bro. None of y'all on TV, in the streets is different. In real life, it's different. But on live TV, none of y'all would have fought. And none of y'all should have fought. <laughs> like, the ramifications of him going out there and fighting Skip Bayless and hurting Skip Bayless, because let's be real now, if Shannon Sharp actually got up there and punched on Skip Bayless, the man, such an old man, such a small man, oh yeah, this could have been ugly. The ramifications of this are just too wild. So shout out to Shannon Sharp for holding it in. And um, Skip Bayless, uh, he has his own show, he has his own podcast, and he's going to have to address this. 
I'm not going to crucify him all the way, although he looks terrible in that situation because the disrespect started with Skip Bayless and it wasn't the other way around. Despite all of the guys who are there saying that, yes, yeah, Shannon Sharp needs to be grateful because Skip Bayless provided an opportunity, that's right. But still, that does not mean that you get to abuse my, my tolerance, overstep my boundaries on live TV, especially. I'm a father, everything. You can't do that. But Skip Bayless is going to have to share his side. He just will. Because I don't understand what would, what would possess Skip Bayless to take such a cheap shot over a guy he doesn't even know. Like, Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless were partners for six years at that point. Shannon Sharp looked grateful. Uh, he brought some ratings. Um, Skip Bayless obviously was the A-list star, but Shannon Sharp brought a lot of hype to that show. A lot of co he brought culture. He brought a crowd that Skip Bayless could never bring by himself. So for him to still disdain all of that and take a shot personal on live TV over a man he doesn't even know in Tom Brady is wild. Absolutely wild. So I cannot wait for Skip Bayless to go on this podcast and actually address this because uh, this doesn't look good. It just doesn't look good. So anyways, these are my thoughts. Please get in the comment section and give me your thoughts about this. Uh, do you think Shannon Sharp actually made the right decision by not uh, fighting Skip Bayless? Do, do you believe that he could have went down on TV? And how does Skip look in your eyes after seeing how Shannon Sharp actually felt about this exchange? Appreciate you guys for checking me out. Please like the video, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.